Hello, welcome to Filler Content. My name's Luke Canberra, and joining me, as always, is Sam Glaze. Uh. Oh, fucking hell. And ACU. <laughs> yes. G'day. Boys, how, how's it going? Yeah, yeah. Could be better. So, I mean, I'm excited because today we have a, a very special show. The first for filler content. In, insert applause and uh, Rock is cheering now. That's right. It's the first episode six for filler content. Yes. Um, so to celebrate. Um, I'm just having a sip of water there. <clears throat> Sorry. Let's continue. It's good uh, to be hydrated. Rem- <laughs> remember, to, remember to drink water. <laughs> yes, that's right, ACIOU. No, I said that. It's the first episode of filler content where we will actually try because... Wait a minute. What the heck was that, ACU? What? It sounds like a knock at the door. Oh. Let uh, me let- just go and... You just go and get that. I'm just going to go and get it. Oh my goodness, Sam and Ace you, it's the police. Uh, oh, oh no. Goodbye. What the fuck is going on in here? <laughs> hello. Uh, hello officers. Uh, it's, wait a minute. It's Officer Kevin and Officer Grant of the Neo Greek Town uh, Police Department, also known as the Thought Cops. What are you guys doing here? We heard that there was uh, a funny show being recorded down here, and we, and we came to break it up. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, you heard wrong. No, it's definitely that's not <laughs> happening down here. Yeah. I'm uh, sorry. Uh, we'll go. We'll go somewhere else. Oh, we got to fly all the way back to Chicago now. It sucks. Wait, don't go. It's cold outside. It's only 53 degrees Fahrenheit. We don't want you to what, catch a chill. What is so that? Please, uh, 12 degrees Celsius. Put okay, that in thank post. You. <laughs> Please, officers, come inside, won't you? Well, all right, I suppose. Walks inside. That's an asterisk. Ah. That's stage direction. <laughs> <laughs> stage directions. <laughs> Sits down. All okay. right, then. Uh, this is going very smoothly. Uh, I also have a plane flying over. So, Sam, please take over. Oh, okay. Um, so, well, what's up with you guys? Uh, scratch his head. <laughs> Not much. How about you? Yeah, I, I had a great sleep um, last night. Uh, of course, every time you need to be doing something, um, your neighbors stay up until 6 a.m. playing loud music. Wait, Sam Glaze, shut up. My plane has stopped flying over. Okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, enough of that. Back to you, LaCambra. Officer Kevin and Officer Grant, how how's it going? It's going good. Great. For all our listeners who may not know who the Thought Cops are, well, I pity you. Because they're fools. Yeah. That's what you do with fools. You pity them. Show no mercy. ACU? Yes. Hello. Now you take over. I need another drink. <laughs> okay. Uh, welcome, Thought Cops. Uh, please enjoy the uh, roaring fire. That's Thank enough. You. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> Don't want to enjoy it too much. <laughs> um. Ouch! <laughs> <laughs> enjoying uh, the enjoying the fire now. Okay, so uh, <laughs> what we have a we have a, a a big old show today, do we? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, look, honestly, okay. Now that all that awkwardness is behind us, and we're all friends, um, I can be honest with you all and admit that I haven't planned anything for the show. I just wanted to get the thought cops on because I really like their podcast. Oh, thank you, thank you. It's hard to tell. Um, I thought I thought you were reading off a script. I thought that that explained all the stage directions, <laughs> <laughs> which I followed. Script? Yeah. No, no, of course not. This show is recorded uh, in a, a recording studio, and we're all here together. Um, 
Right. Take a seat. Won't won't you, Grant? I, th- I think we ask you to take a seat because we're the cops. So you take a seat. All right. Stop okay. standing. Taking a seat now. Stop resisting. Another first for the hard men working hard. <laughs> <laughs> you guys always record standing up. We're going to put an end to that. Sit the fuck down. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You, uh, sorry, officer. Are you guys just going to stand the whole show or you right? yeah. okay? Uh, we'll take a seat. Uh, <laughs> what chair should I sit in? Uh, um, the one that's not on fire. Okay. Uh, none of them are, so... <laughs> Maybe it easy for down. <laughs> <laughs> This is the classic, because we're in Chicago, and Chicago is the home of uh, improv comedy, and the one rule everybody knows about improv comedy is yes and, because you constantly build off the bits. We're definitely no but people. That's right. <laughs> Here, don't sit on the chair that's on fire. There's no chair that's on fire. <laughs> I Conti- mean, continue your show, please. <laughs> Let's uh, backspace, backspace, backspace. Ouch! I, I told you that not hurts. to sit on it. Are you okay? That chair wasn't even on fire. Yes, I am. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the thumbtack yes, chair. and I am. <laughs> Classic. All right, I hope everybody enjoyed that Im- improv comedy routine. That's all we have time for today. <clears throat> Thank you, uh, Grant and Kevin, Thought Cops, for coming out all the way from Chicago. Oh, no problem. Get out. Yeah. All right. See you, <laughs> see you guys later. Goodbye. Stands up and leaves my head hanging in sadness. Naruto dejection music playing in background. I thought you were going to Naruto run out of the studio. <laughs> <laughs> Both. <laughs> okay. All right, everybody. We'll be back. We will, uh, <clears throat> All right, everybody. We'll be back after these messages. Okay, Sam Glaze, put some good something good here. Yeah. Okay. I'll <laughs> some, make up. Please put um, some good content here. Well, oh, it's our first sponsorship ever. Right now, I'll I'll put it in in post. It'll be funny. Hey, uh, Thought Cops, do you want to say something funny that I can add into the commercial? Like it's the best thing ever, or I used it on my wife. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I'll say that part. Okay. Hard men working hard. Filler content. I used it on my wife. I And let's just say... I also used it on his wife. She loved it. Boy, wasn't that a good intro, guys? Yeah. It was, no. No. Uh, it, was it was fine. fine. All right. I I'll like... Take, yeah. I'll take it. I'll take it. I give it, it a th- three out of ten. Now is the part of the show where we engage in small talk to build a relationship with our guests, Grant and Kevin from Thought Cops. Hey guys, You're reading the stage story. How, how are you? Hey, I've got a few. Uh, I've got a few notes here for things that we can talk about. Now, I'll edit this. Is this to how make you it sound? Is, is this how you talk to people in real life? Is this how you go on dates? <laughs> I bring my script with me. <laughs> I bring my script with me with my with my notes, and I say, "Hello, do you like <laughs> uh, do you like food? No, don't sit there. <laughs> sit there." <laughs> Not there. <laughs> there. That what one's the on fuck fire. Was that? My date. Uh, what are you doing here? You've sat in the wrong seat. Uh, you've screwed everything up. I don't, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I'll be right back. Um, Throw it a commercial. Okay, we're just going to take another break. Uh, don't take <laughs> vaccines, kids. Uh, all right. Uh, Grant and Kevin, do you like video games? I'm looking at one right now. I sure do. Yes. Well, what are you looking at? I have, an, I have an N64 on my desk. Cannot you see what he's looking at, Sam, since he's oh. here with us in the room? <laughs> no, I'm wearing an eye patch. I can't see anything. <laughs> I'll take it off. One eye or. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, but the eye patch is over my good eye. <laughs> that's that's <laughs> a shame. <Sorry. laughs> you made me choke on my water. <laughs> I'm trying to hydrate. <laughs> Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't hear you, Kevin, over me choking to death. What video game was it that you were playing? It's a Nintendo 64. I'm not playing it. I am focusing 100% of my attention on guesting on filler content. Oh, thanks. It's very much appreciated. <laughs> but I'm looking at one. I'm just looking did at you it. Guys, uh, did you guys catch any of the video game commercials for 2019 at all? Also known as E3 
2019. <laughs> oh, commercials, yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, I saw it. Do you guys follow that stuff at all? I don't seek it out. I just wait until Kevin tells me, like, hey, they're uh, coming out with a new Pokemon game. And I'm like, oh, okay. I know this now. Kevin, Kevin's the gamer of the two, is, is he? I, I just get all of my information about video games and anime distilled through Kevin. And you call yourself a gamer American? Have some pride. It's appropriation. I'll admit it. Good God. Do we have a gamer flag yet? We are working on it. Um, it's got. I just want to say it's got some stripes on it. I'm pretty sure the gamer flag's just the Discord logo. <laughs> but it's got to have like stripes because each color's got to mean something. I think there actually is a gamer flag. I think I saw it on Twitter. It's like orange for Mountain Dew. I mean, Doritos oh and green for Mountain Dew. <laughs> and uh, I don't know, some other gay shit. I think you're right. And orange for the orange flavored Mountain Dew. Gamer <laughs> fuel. <laughs> Green, it's orange, all, and also it, orange. It's all just different colors of Mountain Dew. That's the game of flag. <laughs> Code red. Baja blast. Ah, uh, well, this conversation went went well. I'll move on to the next part of my script, shall I? <clears throat> all right. Go ahead. Speaking speaking of gamers, uh, do you, what are you, what is your opinion on gamer girls? What a smooth segue. That was, that was pretty smooth. Uh, any, anyone, anyone who wants to take that one? I didn't direct it at anybody. Um, it's nice to have a hobby in common, and it's also nice to be able to uh, buy some bath water for my gamer GF. Because you don't have any bath water of your own that you can use. <laughs> right, right. the landlord evicted you. It's nice to have bath water in common. Thank you, Kevin, <laughs> for picking up on where I was going with that question. <laughs> Uh, please, would you like to host the show for a little bit? I'm thirsty. <laughs> <clears throat> I, I could, I, <clears throat> I could try. There are no rules. Here we go. Uh, have a seat wherever you like, Grant. Oh, we were already sitting. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Perfect. Uh, uh, this is the this is the worst Lacambra impression I've ever heard. I'm not. I'm doing my own thing. I got. Oh, okay. I'm. He passed the torch I, to me. I get it. I get it. Um, no, I understand. Sam Glaze. Hello. How are you? Do you like food? Yeah. I'm trying to <laughs> we, I'm trying to wean myself off food. How's that working out? Uh not too well. We've seen evidence that it's not working out too well. You switching to meal replacement drinks or Um, I'm doing a bit of that. I'm doing a bit of just not eating anything. Um just you know, whatever I can. That's Whatever good. I can to not Just turn into a, a monolith. That would be terrible. Um, like, what do you yeah. mean monolith, like a big stone structure, or yeah, because yeah. uh, I'll, 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 I assume that I'll become incredibly dense under become? all the pressures. <laughs> yeah, m more so. Okay, it's I'm afraid to go to the zoo there. so that apes don't <laughs> scream at me. All right, there's no need for the racist commentary, Sam. <laughs> okay, Glaze. Thank you. That Sorry, is I almost dodged name. you there. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, we have to really keep it clean for our guests, okay? Sam Glaze. Yeah. No, none of that normal, you know, throwing the N-word around willy-nilly. Which like word? You, <clears throat> you know the one I mean. Faggot? <laughs> no, we it's will, not what we I mean. Will. <laughs> we will, we will, <laughs> What have you done? <laughs> we will, we will. It's the uh, Pavlovian response. Leave that siren in. Yeah. Okay. You know, sometimes when I hear an actual siren, I'm always like, I kind of smile because I'm thinking to myself, we're about to have a great I start, show. I start beatboxing, <laughs> start yelling out quotation marks from 90s cartoons. What does a quotation mark sound like? Oh, he means like uh, he, he's trying Did to I say, say quotation marks instead of quotation. Yeah, I forgot. Shit. God damn. Delete the episode. Can we start over? Yeah, go ahead and well. cut that. Oh, please. Uh, I would love to start over. So, uh, delete the episode. <laughs> okay, what else do I have on my script? <laughs> um, that's all I had. Okay. <laughs> did you write, that's all I had? <laughs> no. <laughs> it sounds no, like I, you did. Yeah. Re <laughs> that's all I... <laughs> Absolutely everything uh, that I've said so far has been on the script, including this and this. 
You missed it uh, on this. ACU. <laughs> Hello. We'll write the post in script. Wait. Wait. No. The script in post. How did I stuff that up? I've been reading this off a script. Who wrote this? Fix that in post. All right. Let, that's, let's just wrap up the small talk section of the show and move on to my favorite segment. It's the ACU's orthodontist update. ACU. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? I mean, like, I, I, I could have just... Man, the worst part... Like, okay, so the orthodontist, that's my get out of jail free card because I could just say some really dumb shit and just be like, cut me some slack. I went to the orthodontist 16 days ago. But, you know... Now you're asking for it. Uh, I, I would have thought you'd months. be like, sorry, uh, I didn't say that. I'm wearing my retainer. You obviously just misheard me. I, that's That'd what I said. One. That, that's yeah, exactly when, what I said. It just didn't sound like, like the that. When the N-word slips out and stuff, you, wearing just, my <laughs> yeah. you roll over. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my so retainer. That's, that's it. Yeah, a, a side effect of wearing this retainer is that you're more likely to say racial slurs. <laughs> like what? <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> the thought cups are here. Uh, <laughs> we will, good- we will. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! That's also a side effect. Or a, that's also a side effect of a gamer gaming disorder. Is that when you drink bath water? <laughs> yeah. Gaming is not nice. a fucking disorder, man. It's an identity. <laughs> well, why am I in a wheelchair then? Unrelated. <laughs> Why is it, if if gaming isn't a dis- disorder? Why is Boogie two nine eight eight in a wheelchair? Can you imagine if there was like a can you, can you imagine if there was like a gay guy who was like being gay isn't a disorder, but I'm also in a wheelchair, and it's yes, it's related. <laughs> <laughs> because once you go black, what happens? You go, you go in a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> That's how why? that goes. Why? Why does that uh, happen? Uh, it's because. Um, yes, and of the anal intercourse <laughs> <laughs> with his large member, it makes it hard to walk afterwards. Like, like his friend. What do you mean, yes. his member? <laughs> his member, his penis. His his, his <laughs> friend, his who gigantic is a member of penis. The country club that you both go to. No, I liked what I said better. And is wheelchair accessible? <laughs> we'll let the editor of the episode decide. Yes, and <laughs> yes, and. His black penis. <laughs> oh, man. Okay, we and should yes scene. and this episode, yeah. Yes, and? This episode. Oh, okay. <laughs> there it is. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> You've done improv before, I see. I wish. I don't, I don't have any money. You need at least $400 to do improv. What? What? You you pay for classes. You well, pay you, for you don't have classes. to take the classes, but you, you better can't, take them. You can't just do improv in public. Are you a social pariah exist. if you don't take the class and then go to an open mic? <laughs> Look at this guy well, see, trying to live himself is without four hundred bucks. <laughs> I, yeah, I, like do they have improv open mics? I should say. I don't think so. I think you you start a troop, don't you? You start yeah. a troop and you travel around the country with a stick with all of your belongings and a. So, cloth napkin. So you've, got, you've got your mage. You've got the the bard. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah. A knight. So, uh-huh. so who, who else is, is in the improv troupe? The gamer. Uh, a healer. The gamer. <laughs> the gamer. Yeah. So, like, what if what if you've got your troupe and none of you paid the four hundred bucks? So you're just like illegal ad libbers <laughs> going around selling black market. Jokes. Fucking, yeah. I forgot the other word for it. <clears throat> improv bits. Yeah. That'd be, that'd be a fun name for an improv. Comedy is troop. a strong word for improv. Yeah. I would agree. I would definitely agree. <laughs> Sorry. I think it's a fun, like, team building y tool that can sometimes make you funny, but it's not. Do, uh, do I have not. Trust enjoyed. falls on, in, in, in improv. Probably. Do you I, think tr- you do I haven't taken an improv class. Yeah we, I, yeah, we did do that once. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I want to know. I want to know the, the, the seedy underbelly of the improv world. Kevin, I want you to be my guide and tell me all the dirty secrets. Oh, man. I mean, it's not that yes, funny. And- That's Here's, here's the worry. thing. We'll, is, um, I'll add canned laughter. We'll make it funny. That worked for uh, Big Bang Theory. But uh, here's, here's the thing with improv is uh, a lot of 
a lot of sort of theater kids have taken it over. You know, it's not it's not the CD, you know, stand up comedy like is that dirt a euphemism? bags. What? Is theater kids a euphemism? No. That's right, just what they what? are. What could yeah, it possibly no, be a euphemism no, for? No, it's okay. Continue. Little please. children stuck in the walls of a theater. It's not a disease. Oh, or or just one of the case of theater disorder. kids. Disorder. Yeah, but so so anyways, these I have theater kids. Theater disorder. Theater disorder, yeah. It's part of improv um, uh, to talk over people and just trample <laughs> their, the conversation so that yes, they lose and? their train of thought, Grant? Uh, no, but uh, uh, sometimes <laughs> maybe it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not. I'm don't. I don't have four hundred dollars. I never took the class. Yeah. I don't know how it goes. Please continue. But so anyway, anyway, these theater kids, uh, they're all you know these SJW, SJWE types. Um, but at the end of the day, they uh, they take off their costumes, and it's a hundred percent just white straight Naked, males. Yes. Yeah, they're naked white straight males. That's how <laughs> Louis C.K. got in trouble. Yeah, even the ladies are straight white males. They're all straight white males. Every improver, every That's single all. one, crazy, but truly really disgusting. It's very problematic. Yeah, yeah. As uh, an African American, I have a, a big. <laughs> it's a great I, way I, to start I, a sentence. I have a big black cock. Um, no, I've, it's a big problem. Being an African American, <laughs> how is that? A, how is that a problem with having a having a big penis? Um, is it, I keep putting people in wheelchairs. Oh, the guilt must eat you alive. Yeah, um, that's another disorder. Guilt disorder. Mm. Oh man, the fle- a flesh eating bug. This is your raciest episode of Orthodontist Update yet. <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> I wish you guys would get out of the the dentist office. I'm trying to. Dentist. Get on his orthodontist. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, orthodontist. Same guys. <laughs> yeah. What's put, up? Put another commercial in here, please. Okay. I'll just uh, I'll put in one of those beeps, like we cut the episode. Yeah. All right. That sounds good. Are you yeah. also going to do static on the screen so that? Uh... Never mind. This is an audio episode, Grant. <laughs> I realized that. Halfway in. <laughs> All right. You know, he's done what? Almost 130 episodes of Thought Cops, and he thinks that people can see. Well, that's why I'm always wearing a costume. That's why I got that's the why I'm. That's why I'm wearing an eye patch. Well, funny yes, you should. Yes, you are. Funny you should mention uh, Boogie, Grant, about yeah. five, six minutes ago. Yeah. Oh, I like 10 minutes ago. Segue. Have, have you guys been keeping up with the Boogie news? Get a load of the tits on that guy. <laughs> I try not to. I find him extremely... He'll find his way into my Twitter feed every once in a while, and I always regret it. I like his little chiclet teeth. L- they're not little. They're, s- they're scary. No, no, the old teeth. Oh, God. Uh, I'm not sure which I prefer. <laughs> How does that happen? Uh... How does that happen? It's called uh, you eat a shit ton of sugar, you blow up, and your teeth rot out. That is... I I thought you were going to say batteries and suck the acid down. (laughs) God, I hope not. (laughs) Yeah, Yeah, that's... Well, you know, he's a hungry man. Maybe maybe he just didn't have any food in his fridge one day and just, uh, I don't know. You get desperate, you know. He mistook sugar for citric acid. Well, the reason I bring him up is because I had nothing else to talk about, but... Uh, have you seen that he's uh, recently purchased a one hundred thousand dollar Tesla? And I is, did. Uh, I did see that. Oh, good God! It. He's and, also uh, begging for money to. Uh, <laughs> he realized be able that he doesn't actually it. have that much money, and now needs people to pay for it. Uh, look, if any of our listeners would like to buy me a Tesla, uh, please send your donations to Trash at Hardman Working Hard, and uh, I'll you know I'll take a picture of it for you. Um. Yeah, I think it's pretty funny that Boogie is such a pathetic person. <laughs> that is funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, not so much because, like, he, he's come out saying that he was joking about fans giving him more money to pay for his Tesla. You know, maybe maybe he 
does have, have enough money. Maybe he makes a lot of money. He liked to brag about how much money his streams make and all that stuff. Uh, I think the thing that is worse is how he has had a history of asking for money. And yet now he has enough money to put a down payment on a Tesla. It's like, oh, guys, my health. I need help with my health. I'm a big, giant, fat man. Maybe he should start sell- selling his bathwater. He yeah. already made that joke. He did. It's it's one of the most disgusting oh, things God. I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> like, he's sitting yeah. in a ba- he's sitting in a bathtub naked. No, and he's he's like he's smiling no. that wretched no. smile. He's, no. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I thought it was a Photoshop too because it didn't. Well, he, the proportion the proportions looked wrong. I they did look kind of straight. Maybe it was photoshopped. I don't. I don't know, man. I I would I want to believe it was. I want to believe. I want to believe that was anybody else's body but his. You want to believe that Boogie doesn't bathe? I don't. I mean, that's I a know fact. He doesn't yeah. bathe. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty easy to know. I hope that they just get the pressure washer and hose him down out back. (laughs) One of those hoses that they use in Thailand to clean elephants. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Just sell the runoff. Oh, it's the green sludge. It's hot. I'm thirsty. Mm. (laughs) Another drink like Ember. I've actually run out, which means I I can no longer take any breaks. Uh, as respite from my terrible hosting. That's all right. We'll we'll see what we can do in post. No, oh, not much. We we'll just get you to re-record your part. We might have again. to do this entire show again and just use clips from the Thought Cops <laughs> to kind of piece it together. <laughs> I hope that in post you just get different voice actors that just yeah. aren't any of us to just read all of these sentences that we're saying. Well, we used to do lots of um, celebrity commentary. Uh, sorry, celebrity impressions on the show until Sam Glaze killed all the celebrities by mm. burning them alive in the incinerator. Yeah, so out of respect, we don't do impressions of those people I killed anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that chuckle, Kevin. <laughs> Any, anytime. Chuckle. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I feel like it's too early to hit the emergency let's play a game button. So let's play a game. Okay. I'm ready. Is everybody ready? Ready. Ready. No, I'm not. Goodbye. See you later, ACU. Nice to talk. Goodbye, ACU. ACU. Later. Goodbye. Speaking of being ready... Once I was filling out a job application and one of the criteria was, are you good to start the job immediately? And the two options were ready spaghetti (laughs) and then something equally as silly sounding, (laughs) which I assume meant no. Um, So I, I, I selected ready spaghetti. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know if that was a test because I never heard back from them. (laughs) <laughs> Were you ready, spaghetti? <laughs> I was as ready, spaghetti, as I would ever be, spaghetti. What was the job? A removalist. Were you removing uh, the meatballs from the Chef Boyer decans? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> w- w- why? Uh, it was an ex- an eccentric billionaire was paying me. <laughs> <laughs> he loves spaghetti. He likes the taste hates, of spaghetti hates, and meatballs, but he doesn't like meatballs. the meatballs. <laughs> he, he can't chew the meatballs anymore on account of him being 103 years old. I can't have no regular teeth. spaghetti because I need the meatball yeah. aftertaste. <laughs> yeah. Um, I should put him in touch with Boogie2988 and maybe he can get some new teeth as well. <laughs> you there, boy. Grease yourself up and get to work. I want those meatballs out by sundown. <laughs> yes, Mr. Rothwell, sir. Or uh, Rockwell? Rockefeller. That's the one. Rothschild? Rothschild. <laughs> They're all the same. <laughs> They're all like... You push like three different names together. <laughs> it's like uh, they all look like they 
are wearing a Halloween mask, but it's just it's just their skin. It's their loose. <laughs> it's their badly fitting skin over their old crippled old person skeleton. Anyway. <laughs> 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 anyway, he he was in a wheelchair for various reasons. Right. Can only guess based off the conversation. <laughs> yeah. I was alluding to a conversation we had previous. I wonder why you didn't get the job. <laughs> it's because I raped him. <laughs> the asshole. <laughs> Ready spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say that to him? Yeah, and then he said that spaghetti strand was a little too thick. <laughs> What's a removalist? Uh, like uh, you drive a truck and you move stuff for people. F- furniture and things. Furniture and things. Oh, okay. <laughs> I feel you know. like, do, you, do you guys have Italians down there? Uh, we got a couple of Italians. You know, one or two. I was going to say Mario, if it was like Luigi. A- I love those guys. Yeah. If there was an Italian restaurant, that's what I thought you were applying for. It was like an Italian restaurant job. Ready spaghetti, while, <laughs> while frustrating <laughs> they have to say, would make sense. But for a removalist, just keep going, man. Keep looking for something else. Yeah. They're very hip. They are. Uh, I don't know if I would. Have, they needed to have a trendy application um, page on their website. Do you guys think that uh, Mario and Luigi frequently uh, travel to Thailand to participate in the sex tourism? Yes. Um, <laughs> yes. Yes, I do, Grant. Are you talking right. about the video game characters or the two Italians we have in Australia? I thought they were. I thought that they were the same. No. 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 Oh shit! Mario no. and Luigi aren't real. See, I tell Grant that they are real. And he, he believes me every fucking time. He's my time. portal to the gamer world. I don't wait, know what wait, to are say. you talking about... Which ones are you talking about? I, I, I tell him the video game characters are real. Oh. And he believes it. Yeah, okay. And I have a laugh with my two Italian-Australian friends, Mario and Luigi. <laughs> laughing it up at his expense. Yeah. Waving their hands around like crazy people. Eating spaghetti. It was crazy... And- those crazy dagos, am I right, boys? <laughs> it's like the only the only acceptable slur. It's the only one left. Hey, yeah. Yeah. why is does it, why does time go so quick in Italy? Something because everywhere you look, you see a dago. <sighs> yeah. Why does time go so slow in Italy? Because it takes nine months to make a dago. Okay. Any other ones? My road. We can cut those. Uh, I don't know. I mean, they're they're pretty they're pretty we'll just, harmless we'll Italian jokes. A, we'll put a continuous beep over the whole thing. <laughs> okay. Just hey, a three here's a good long. joke about Italians. <laughs> and then we'll <laughs> day go. I was setting it up for so we can move it in post. Hey, La Kembra, here's Hello. a funny story about Italians. It's okay. a joke. Are All you right. ready? I'm ready, spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll fix that up later. Thank you for buying me at least like three or four minutes of the show. <laughs> yeah. Okay, back to the game. About <laughs> what, what was it about uh, Italians? Yeah. No, this game is this game is not about Italians. It's uh, it's a little game <laughs> that I we have played before. Sam Glaze and AC okay. is. <laughs> Extremely quiet at the moment, just sitting, sitting in the corner, just watching it all unfold. I'm just enjoying an episode of filler content. <laughs> <laughs> Live. It's a game that we've played before that I like to call um, "Sweet Little Tell Me Lies." Uh, play the theme song, Sam Glaze. Uh, Kevin and Grant, I don't know if you guys are familiar with the games that we play on this show. Um, it's a way for us to... Oh, okay. I won't explain it then. <clears throat> Good. Don't explain it to the audience either. <laughs> no, they know what they know what's going on. All There's right. only like three Help. people who listen to this show and they've heard the... G'day, heard audience. Before. It's me, Sam Glaze. I'm talking directly to you. How are you? Hello, Scrody <laughs> Boy. <laughs> Scrody Boy, Teddy Bear Syrup, Mr. D the Dank... Uh, die, uh, dick three? 
D- yeah. Yeah. Dick Three. Dick Three. Name. Yep. Yeah. Shout out. Shout out. Dick Three. Whoop whoop. I think that's it. Yeah, that's Is it. Is there anyone? Anyone I'm missing? No, no. Absolutely yeah. no one else. No one else. Uh, Grant, I'm sh- I'm sure you know how these games are played, but Kevin, for your benefit, I will explain to you. Lay it on me, baby. What we like to do on Sweet Little Tell Me Lies is uh, tell me sweet little lies, uh, and it sort of is a thing that we do. Uh, I'm sure you understand, based on what I've just said, how it is played. Okay. Great explanation. <laughs> <laughs> we got this segment on our show two minutes of hate uh it's uh it's two minutes uh you talk about you, you get it you understand yes, the, what okay. is hate how do i define it who do i hate we'll tell you if you listen to thought cops who don't you hate sam glaze who don't i hate yeah um everyone not on this podcast Good. Okay. Round one of <clears throat> this game. Or as right, I like we, to call here we it. Go. We're just starting. We're just gonna start. As I like to call it the house of Hell lies. Of lies. <laughs> Can you say make that sound cool, please, Sam Glaze? Okay. Uh Sam Glaze, as you were the champion of the previous episode of Sweet Little Tell Me Lies. Okay. I'm gonna give you some prizes uh here you go here's a small trophy for you to signify your victory thank you passing you you the trophy now thank thank you it's very small yeah i can't i can't even see it (laughs) it's there take it please okay okay. what an honor (laughs) thank you kevin for (laughs) saying that on my behalf thank you kevin for backing up this delusion and also one of the prizes, Sam Glaze, is that you will become the team captain of your team for this game. All right. Who's on my team? Well, that's the third prize. You will have the first chance to pick who you would like to be on your team. Okay. Sam Glaze, who would you like to be on your team? Um, all right. So. You can select from ACU... Officer Kevin or Officer Grant? Not you? No, I'm the host of the show. You can't. Oh, you? okay. Um, well. Well. Um, hmm. Please do okay. not think too hard about it. All right. Well, it really doesn't matter. Okay. I'll go, I'll go as much as I like you, ACU, and as much as I like you, Officer Grant. I'm going to have to pick Officer Grant. Nice. Good choice. <laughs> All right. Now where I thought that was going. <laughs> the old bait Spl- and switch. Splitting the teams up is good. Splitting, splitting it up, making it. Wait, wait. Just- should, I, should I have picked ACU? No, of course. Well, you can. Okay. I mean, it would, make, I'll, it I'll would pick, be more I'll interesting pick- if it was like filler content versus thought cops, but I'm not going to tell you what to do. No, okay. I pick ACU. <laughs> Stuff you, <laughs> Officer Grant. Nice. Go to hell. All right. I hate right. you now. Uh, Ace okay. is now my best friend. Yay. Locking in the team choices now. You can't change it. Lock it in. Locking in sound okay. effect now. Do I even get to say in this? You have no choice in the matter, ACU. You're stuck with me for life. We're married now. I don't think this is even legal. No, no we're gay married. It's legal. Wait a minute. This isn't Pride Month. You can't just gay marriage rape people. No, it's t- oh, nice plane, Lakembra. <laughs> oh, right. So loud. <laughs> it's plain it's, much. It's- <laughs> I'm sorry. The wheels are scraping the roof. <laughs> <laughs> More like Lakembra the plane engine. Am I right? You Am are. I? I don't okay. know. <laughs> Is that like a play on Thomas the train engine? Yeah. Because his name was Thomas the Tank Engine. But Thomas and Lakembra don't sound anything alike. Their voices are pretty similar, though. (laughs) Yes, if I close my ears a little bit. Close them all the way. Oh, you're right. Closing your ears now. 
have have the, have the skin heal over the top of them, <laughs> crust over. Okay, uh, Officer Grant. Yes. Um, I'm going to make you team captain for your team. Good Who choice. Who would you like to be on your team? Uh, uh, more Come of on, my man. options. Come on, man. Pick me. <laughs> uh, There's no restrictions may- here. Maybe. Um, Lakember, are you are you available? He's the host. I'm oh, sorry, okay. I, I'm not available. Grant, I always I always liked I'm, you the most. Thank you. <laughs> out of out of who? I'm, I'm gonna forget everybody in this room. I'm gonna forget all the disparagement from earlier. Uh, so I can't I, pick Lakembra. I can't pick I, Sam. I love Blaise. you, Grant. Thank you. I can't pick you though because uh, <laughs> you're the team captain of the other team. I, I can't, can't pick, pick him. I can't. It could pick. be like a, a Romeo and Juliet tale. That's how that game worked, right? Romeo and Juliet, the the classic Nintendo sixty four game of nineteen eighty nine. <laughs> yes, and it is. <laughs> this is how the sausage is made. And I, yeah, I can't pick ACU, so I'm trying to think uh, who else. You, you know, you don't have to even pick anyone, really. I guess I have to pick Officer Kevin. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Good choice, Officer Grant. Locking in Thank the choice. <clears throat> now. Okay, gentlemen. The teams are chosen. Sam Glaze and ACU, what is your team name? Um, team Boner Pills. <laughs> All right. And Officer Grant, Officer Kevin, your team yeah. name? Uh, team Gay Frogs. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Everybody ready for round one, which I had already started like five minutes ago. How many yeah. rounds are there? There are three rounds. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for clarifying. Everybody ready for round one? Yes. 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 Okay. The object of round one is to listen intently to a story which I will tell you and determine whether the story I've told you is fact or false. Why didn't you say fiction? Sam Glaze. Yes. Since you've won the previous round, previous game, we're going to start with you. Are you ready? Okay. I am ready spaghetti. Telling you the story. (laughs) Telling you the story now. I once owned three hermit crabs named Florida, T-Pain, and Gran that I had to put down by smashing them with a hammer. Fact or false? (laughs) Uh, I I really for for our for our listeners when I say fact I mean this story may have actually happened or it could be made up so I'm not I just... really I really want that to be a fact but I'm going to say f- fiction You can discuss this with your team if if you'd like AC what do you what do you think about hermit crabs that are all right I suppose would you smash them with a hammer I mean, if my hands were tied and I had no other options. You wouldn't put them down by lethal injection? That could be more fun. See, I I would have boiled um, salt into liquid form and then just injected that inside them. (laughs) That's fucking (laughs) sadistic. Uh, That's a little (laughs) unnecessary. I mean, you may as well use a hammer. Yeah, I guess I'm starting to see the logic here. Yeah, see, now you're getting it. Okay. Well, so you, I'm, I'm voting. I'm voting false. ACU. What do you think? Oh man, please. There's a lot of questions. For fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Fiction. All right. Oh, uh, yeah. False. False. Incorrect. 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 Oh no! Wow. Well, oh no! That story was true. Yes. Jesus. I owned three hermit cabs, crabs. Cab. <laughs> three. <laughs> I owned three Jesus. hermit cab drivers named Florida, <laughs> T Pain, and Gran. Uh, oh, no. I I didn't know how to look after hermit crabs very well, and I wasn't able. You to... You don't look after them. I wasn't able by to bashing give them, all... them with a hammer. 
They're hermits. They look after I, themselves. I wasn't able to. The first like, line in the hermit crab handbook is don't smash them with a hammer. <laughs> You oh, open no, up no. the instruction manual. They have the classic, like the the, the no symbol over the over a guy holding a hammer. <laughs> Why didn't you just let them go? Well, well, I mean, down the street. I didn't I live near the beach or anything at the time. Put him in a bush or something. Why? Why? How do you know someone else might not come by with a hammer? <laughs> I guess that's true. Yeah, it's but better that it's that it's I. Better, better you than them. someone else. Wow. Well, I didn't want them. I didn't know how to look after them properly. And I didn't want them to like live a life of suffering. How, how old were you? <laughs> yeah, they didn't so, suffer getting uh, this was like, in with a hammer. Know, early 20s. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I decided, well, what I did was I, I put them in a plastic bag so they wouldn't see it coming. And Jesus. I just quickly, I just, I just quickly took care of the, of business. And is um, hammer a, a, a euphemism? No, no, it was a real hammer. No euphemism. Oh, okay, um, it wasn't your dong. Look, I don't, I, I don't. <laughs> I, I'm just like, I can't get the image of you doing this out of my head. I see it so vividly. It was a vividly. dark and stormy night. Took them out to the back shed. Uh, well, look, I'm pretty sure they didn't suffer. I think. Um, I they were smashed with a hammer. <laughs> It would have been quick. Okay. Uh, team Boner Pills. Unfortunately, you did not get that correct. So we're going to move Thank on you. to uh, Team Gay Frogs. Are you ready for the for the fact or false? Yes. Yes. Here we go. I once went to a Halloween-themed school dance dressed as Dracula. When I arrived and saw that no one else was dressed up, <laughs> I realized it wasn't actually a themed dance. Fact or false? I think that's false. That, yeah, sounds, that um, sounds like a stock plot from like a cartoon, from or like something. a '90s yeah. cartoon of like you go to school and it's uh, it's wear your pajamas to school day and you show up wearing your pajamas and no one else is and you're like, oh no, I got the wrong day. I also call false. All right. Uh, well, thanks for exposing me as the untalented hack writer that I am, Officer Kevin and Grant, because that story was false. So that's one point for the gay frogs. Team Boner Pills, are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be, spaghetti. All right, here we go. Oh, no. I once. AC, I are you ready? <laughs> oh, sorry. AC. <laughs> ready. Okay. I once Ready, accidentally. Oh, <laughs> that's good. <one. laughs> All right, let's go, Noki. Oh, I, I know. As soon as I start, you're gonna say some other pasta-related comment. All right, here we go. I once accidentally Lay it on me linguine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll pay that. I once accidentally stole donuts from an old man. <laughs> Fact or false? I feel like everyone's done that at least once in their life. Yeah, it's right. an accident. Don't beat yourself up. It's a up. rite of passage. Yeah, rite of passage to, to do something accidentally. <laughs> <laughs> Fact or false? ACU, I leave it to you. Oh, all right. What are the odds? 50-50. I thought he meant like more in like in the case of life. Yeah. The uh, What are the circumstances that would lead you to? I mean, making up that story is just as likely as it actually happening. Don't think about it too hard, ACU. Okay. Just, just say what's... Fact. Fact? Fact? Correct. Correct. It's true. I once accidentally stole donuts from an old man. AC, I'm so glad you got that right, because if you got that wrong, I could chew you out so hard. Oh, baby. Yummy. Yeah. Was this That's like you were at a I donut shop and you... Sorry, go ahead. Oh, I was uh, going to say, I'll yell at him over the internet, and he'll be very sad afterwards. We, we definitely don't want that. Uh, Grant, you're actually quite correct. Yes, it was a, it was a donut shop. Of all places to buy donuts. <laughs> well, <laughs> I didn't actually. get a chance to finish my <laughs> sentence. <laughs> Actually, it was a bakery uh, run by a very old Polish Jewish guy. man. It was Polish, and he didn't Jewish. speak very good English. He was a Polish Jew. And uh, he offered us a tray of cinnamon a donuts. bag of gold. 
and uh, we uh, <laughs> reluctantly accepted. Uh, but I noticed there was another tray with chocolate donuts on it. And I didn't want to offend him. So when he wasn't looking, I swapped the cinnamon donuts for the chocolate ones and and left. <laughs> and uh, when I walked out, my girlfriend told me that those donuts... Ah, uh, fuck, there's another plane. Fuck it. Uh, my girlfriend told me that those donuts weren't actually free and I'd just stolen them. Uh, I never went back to that bakery. And as I understand it, that bakery has since gone out of business. You seem like you feel more <laughs> guilty about this than the hermit crabs. <laughs> Those hermit crabs had it coming. <laughs> Look, if you knew them like I know them, you'd knew understand. Them. All right, fair enough. No, I still know them, Sam Glaze, sometimes late at night. <laughs> <laughs> they you haunt you, just these three little hermit crab ghosts just fly around your head. Climbing into your <laughs> mouth. <laughs> Pinch pinching his tongue. <laughs> Are these corporeal hermit crab ghosts? They're, Just the claws. Corporeal, the corporeal ones, yes. Corporeal. Corporeal? corporeal? Thought, in thought cor corporeal. corporeal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All nice. right, team gay frogs, are you ready? Yes. Yo. Lasagna. So, uh, something lasagna. Let's go lasagna. <laughs> 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 okay. Once. Let's go lasagna. Oh. <laughs> 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 okay. <laughs> Do you I want to say to that, Grant? Oh. <laughs> no, no. My my okay. style of comedy is just jamming it in. Yeah. Yeah. Much like my African-American penis. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. We can do it. Wait, why, ready is, to it go to the why is it African-American when you're Australian? What do you Wouldn't mean? It I African, I'm African -American. No, I'm right here in the studio in America. And I'm African oh, as well. Also. I thought we were in Australia. Yeah. I wrote. A, you said it was I, cold outside. I rode a giant spider to get there. Yeah, same. Me well, too. I'm. Okay, we'll, we'll cut the episode. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Charlie's Theron's brother. Isn't Charlie's Theron from uh, South Africa? Yeah, and she's an American citizen now. Is her brother? Yeah, that's me. <laughs> And yes, <laughs> I shouldn't have asked. <laughs> I just said that, Grant. Are you feeling okay? Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Well, Kemba, are you ready? <laughs> Telling the story now. Okay. I'm. I'm ready. Team Gay Frogs. Yes. Listen closely and listen well. <laughs> Sorry, that was <laughs> much more. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> then I intended to, okay. Regale us upon your tail. Oh, I'm trying. Listen <laughs> closely, Grant. I'm listening well. <laughs> listening lasagna. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I once took my pet cat to the vet who oh, accidentally killed it. Oh, God. <laughs> With a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, God! Accidentally. I, 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 wait. Could you repeat that? You accidentally killed it after or before the vet? Uh, I once took my pet cat to the vet, who accidentally killed it. So the vet accidentally. Oh, the killed vet did. My pet cat. Uh, with a hammer. That would be no accident. <laughs> well, I don't know. Um, Might be an accident in some sort of comical slapstick, you know, film. Home Which alone. this was. Um, Tom and Jerry. Wait, so the last one was true. So, it, 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 so far it's... <laughs> there's no rhyme or reason to the... No, to there's, the, there's uh, a pattern here. It's, it's, so it's okay. gone true, false, true. See, now, now you're, going to, uh, you're going to meta with this. Well, he's getting defensive, so that means I'm right. He just kind of seems like a defensive guy. As a cop, no, I, would, as a cop camera, I would know. He's very open man. I want to say... I I'm gonna say it's uh it's false, but that's just me. Well, it's up to Grant, who is the team captain. So you're saying false, <laughs> and you're saying that Lakember is a very open man, which makes sense because he's not in a wheelchair right now. Mm -hmm. Um. <laughs> um. God. Uh. So. Uh, Ah, uh, so many questions, but I can't ask them. Um, There's a reason you're on a team. It's so that you can harness the 
the brain power of your teammate. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with what Kevin said because I'm gonna overthink this, and I think the best strategy is not to overthink it. So we're going false. All right, false. Locking it in. Are you sure? Yeah. I'm sorry, gay frogs. That's incorrect. Mm. The story was true. I took my pet cat to the vet, and he accidentally killed it. How? Uh, well, I owned a cat. This is the first part of the story. And he would often escape uh, and, you know, he, he came home one day with a broken leg and it was a very bad break. So we took it to the vet and the vet said that the, the leg break was so bad that he would have to amputate. Uh, so He or, accidentally... Or- Amputated well, the head. <laughs> <laughs> he said he'd have to either amputate or, you know, put him to sleep. But he said, you know, he recommends amputation as the cat would still be able to live a happy and comfortable life. Whoa, know, whoa, Doc, you said nothing about killing my cat. <laughs> yeah, he said that it would he would be all right afterwards. So we kind of, we just agreed and, you know, went He just needs a it. rest. Uh, I'll we, just put him to sleep permanently. <laughs> we later, later we got a call from him. Uh, saying that when they put him under for surgery, he had a stroke and died. So it's a good story for a comedy. It sounds like the cat's fault more than a doctor. Yeah. What's up with (laughs) having a brain heart attack on the operating table? Uh, Did the the doctor use use quotation marks with his fingers when he said the word stroke? (laughs) Get a stroke. (laughs) Yeah. His vet was also named Dr. Evil. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's pretty good. Okay, uh, the scores are actually tied at the moment with Boner Pills on one and Gay Frogs also on one. And so we turn over to Boner Pills team. Are you ready? Yes, I am ready, Pasta. I'm glad we've run out of pasta um, things. Um, I'm glad. I hope the time, bit dies. Time to no nah, some uh, taglatella uh, macro uh, no rotini rotini rotini. Okay, yeah. Fetti- fettuccine fettuccine. Um, ravioli. Uh, ready to ravioli on. Did I do it right? You did it. Here we go. Okay. When I was in I high am- school, I entered the school talent show and performed a rap with my friend. Yeah. What was his name? His name was um, Colin. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. His name I'm was sorry. <laughs> Pop Col- Colin. It's all right. I'll remove that pause in post so it'll sound natural. <laughs> okay. And you won't under- you won't know. Then you'll okay. sound like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'll just change my I'll, answers in post, okay? I'll, I'll edit it so that I say his name before you ask that question. Then you will be the fool. Okay. <laughs> when I was in high school, <laughs> this is a true story, okay? So listen. When I was in high school, I entered the school talent show with my friend Colin and performed a rap. We called ourselves Wiggers with Attitude. <laughs> And we performed a song called Dead Wigger Storage. <laughs> we came third. I'm, conf- I'm conflicted. Please forget the first time that I re- <laughs> uh, recounted the story. I only listened to the second time. Okay. Well, you see, the story sounds plausible. Maybe that's... I, I assume that's the point of the game. Yeah. Um... I'm not just going to tell you, like, outlandish <laughs> lies. I'm oh, okay. 500 feet tall. <laughs> True or mm. That's a tough one. Well, have a guess. Hey, Sue, <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave this to the third member of our team. Okay. Um, the newly restored computer. No, the computer can't play. No, the supercomputer is playing. <laughs> the computer comes in later in the game. It can't play now. No, this is my own computer. All right. Well, if <laughs> you brought this one from home, I brought my supercomputer from home. <laughs> it's a laptop. 
No. All right. It's, well, if you get to use the computer laptop. for this one, then Team Gay Frogs can use the computer on their turn. I next. want. I want to use my Nintendo sixty four that's on my desk right now. I want to use that to look <laughs> oh, up answers. All right. <laughs> all right. Go on. Use the computer. Well, does your Nintendo sixty four have a cell processor? <laughs> I don't. It's got a. It's, uh, got, it's got an expansion pack. Wires. It's got an expansion pack. It's got Star Fox sixty four. He's pretty smart. You know what you have to do is you 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 attach the rumble pack to a pen and then it vibrates the answer out onto a piece of paper. Sounds hot. Yeah. <laughs> Sam Glaze, please. And then you the give question, it back to your mum. The question, Sam Glaze. <laughs> um, Fact or false? What do you think? School talent show performed a rap with my friend whose name is definitely Colin. We called ourselves Wiggers with Attitude and performed a song called Dead Wigger Storage, and we came in third. All right, I'm, I'm just going to say false, because that guy's name was not Colin. All right. Uh, yeah, it, it was false. False, false. I'm sorry. I couldn't think sorry, of the Colin. on the fly. I'm really bad at improv. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Nobody could tell. Don't worry. <laughs> All right. Um. <clears throat> We uh, are now going to the final question of round one. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We got the answer from the computer. Okay. Do, do something then. It's just a bunch of ones and zeros, man. I can't read this. All right. You really... You brought it up and brought the show to a halt. I was and hoping... you didn't Le- use it to answer the question. I was hoping LaCambra could put him down with a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> I'll never forget that tragic story. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, Team Gay Frogs. Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Pasta Fajoli. Going to end this round on a, on a high note. Here we go. When I was a teenager, I lived near the beach in a quiet Fall. coastal town. Oh. All right. That's it. Your final answer? Uh, one one <laughs> no. late after... <laughs> <laughs> One late afternoon, as the sun was setting, I was walking on the beach and noticed a kid surfing by himself in some pretty rough swell. The next day, I saw on the news that they found the body of a boy who drowned at the beach. It was the boy that I saw, and I'm pretty sure I was the last person to see him alive. I've never told anybody this. Fact or False. False. How did, how did they find the body then? <clears throat> well, washed yeah, up. Yeah, if I'm you sure. were the last person to see him, alive. Oh, okay, oh, alive. alive. I got you. I feel like this is the plot to some movie. He just—it's a—it's uh, like a John Grisham, and he it's smashed his head with a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> Poor kid. <laughs> he washed up on shore, and he said, "Please." I want. I wonder why I'm, you've told no one this until now. I'm very dehydrated from my surf. <laughs> Can you get me some water? And I smashed his head with a hammer. I'm sorry. It's over for you. <laughs> Fact I think or false? It's, I think it's Tell all him. a big fucking farce. I think it's false. Yeah. <laughs> so aggressive. I'm sorry, officer. I'm sorry. You're locking in false, are you? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it was false. I made that up. I thought it would be like a really cool, like, everyone would be like, oh my God. But no one cares. All right. That puts uh <laughs> Yeah, I think when you said that I've never told anybody, I, yeah. I didn't buy it. Oh, okay. So you do believe that I saw someone drown or I saw someone just before they drowned. That's the thing I you I, but I'm a big loud mouth and I would have yeah. told everyone. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate that. <clears throat> no problem. Okay. The scores at the end of round one are Boner Pills with two points and Team Gay Frogs with also two points. Hooray. Now we enter... That's pretty close. Now we enter the second round, which I like to call round B. <laughs> this is the round where I can put my feet up and let you guys play a third of this game for me. In this round, each team will take turns retelling their own astounding tales, while the opposing team must guess whether it's fact or false. And uh, we'll start with Sam Glaze. Uh, as okay. reigning champion, do you have an astounding story, Sam Glaze? I do. Are you ready to tell it? Okay. Um. Yes, I am okay. ready. Okay. Team Gay Frogs, listen closely and listen well to the story presented by Sam Glaze. Okay. 
<clears throat> when you're ready. So, my mum, Trisha, she was deathly ill. And um, me and my brother, we were very sad, you know. Try to bring her back to life? Well, you see, my brother, Alphonse, and I, <laughs> we were given uh-huh. <laughs> an inheritance from our mother. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. It's all quite plausible so far. And eventually, she died. It's already it's very sad. Uh, we were so grief stricken that we performed the fateful human transmutation <laughs> that set the event of my all the events of my life into motion. In return. My brother and I, we were given a mutilated mass of organs and body parts, somewhat resembling our mother's corpse before it quickly died. Needless to say, there were consequences. What were those consequences? My brother lost his entire body. <laughs> just disappeared. And I had to, I had to fuse his soul onto a suit of armor. And, um, I actually lost my arm, but I was lucky enough to be able to... All right, you don't uh, have to recap uh, uh, the entire fucking story. No. <laughs> this is, this is, this is it. Uh, yeah, I was able to get a, um, an artificial arm, which was called auto mail. And, um, that gave me back, you know, basically full function. What happened five years after that? <laughs> no, no, no more what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Fact or false? <laughs> Please. <laughs> what happened uh, one season later? <laughs> uh, I didn't watch that far ahead, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't watch my life. <laughs> you didn't watch ahead. the movie. It tuned out, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, if that story is true, that's absolutely incredible, Sam Glaze. Team... <laughs> <laughs> Team gay frogs, fact or false? I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to say, I'm gonna have to say false. What do you think? Kevin's the big anime head, so I'm gonna, I trust his judgment. What are you talking about? What's anime? This is my life. <laughs> oh right, uh, Kevin's a big Sam head, so I'm yeah. gonna trust his judgment. <laughs> I mean, it's unfortunate. It's not canon. So you're locking in false? Yes. Okay, so. Sam Glaze, please reveal whether your story was fact or false. It was fact. 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 <laughs> Bad luck, uh, Team Gay Frogs. That was a true story. Oh, wow. Damn it. That's unfortunate. <laughs> All right, but that's okay. It's still time to recover because it's now your team's turn to tell an astounding story. Who would like to go first? I got one. Unless you got okay. one. You got go one. Ahead. I got one. Officer Grant, when you're ready... Uh, please reveal your astounding tale. Uh, so when, uh, <clears throat> sorry, there's a, there's an airplane <laughs> overhead. Uh, about uh, 10 years ago when I was uh, still in high school, I was on the, uh, I was interviewed by the local news. Uh, I was interested in, uh, I, I was interested in partook in a sport that was called a uh, freestyle footbag, which is a, uh, it's sort of like a, uh, it's a game that's like hacky sack, but you do tricks and stuff like that. And we were on this, uh, me and a couple of friends were on a news segment for, I hope you know, for your having, sake, this is false. Having played it. <laughs> Please continue. <laughs> no, that's it. That's the story. Oh, okay. Can you, um, sorry, just to how recap. Old, how old are you, Grant? <laughs> I am 28 years old. Oh, damn it. You thought you had him there. Well, I was hoping that, you know, <laughs> maybe did you think uh, that uh, I was. Uh, uh. <laughs> well, 10 years ago, put you square in high school. Yeah. Smack bang in uh-huh. your final year. Yeah. All right. Is your friend's what do you name Colin? <laughs> Actually, believe it or not, yes. My, one of my friends' name was Colin. I choose not. What? I'm sorry, I'm not Wait. playing. Uh, yeah, sorry. What's, <laughs> what's the option? Ace you. Yes, that sounds legitimate. All right, we'll go with that. Okay, Officer Grant, was your story fact or false? 
Uh, I was not on the local news, no, but I did play that. I had a group of friends, and we played freestyle hacky sack. I just wasn't on the news for it. You guys goofed. You done goofed, Team Boner Pills. You know, I feel worse for Grant. It's okay. I made a lot of. I made. I made some friends. I had some good times. All right. Well, it's no ultimate frisbee. It's pretty close. It's pretty close. <laughs> All right, Lakembra, please continue. Team Boner Pills, uh, ACU, do you have an astounding tale to share with the group? Yes, I certainly do. All right, when you're ready. I'm ready. Ready what? Focus fettuccine. No. Oh. Okay. When I was prepared, uh, Parmigiana. <laughs> Please go ahead. When I was young, we went on an excursion to somewhere. Bullshit. Oh, sounds legit. <laughs> I bought a boomerang. Is that like some sort of rang from the sixties? <laughs> <laughs> That's correct, <laughs> Sam Glaze. Excellent joke. We'll cut that. Jeez. <laughs> Keep that, please. I took my boomerang down to the local oval to practice it and give it a couple of practice swings. Couple of rings. So I took the boomerang down to the oval and there was only one other kid there and he was on the other side of the oval. I thought this is fine. He'll be fine. I don't even know how to throw a boomerang. So I turned 90 degrees and threw it to the other side of the oval and it went all the way around and smacked him in the back of the head. (laughs) Then I ran up and smashed his head in with a hammer. (laughs) (laughs) All very plausible. Amazing story. (laughs) Gay frogs, what do you think? Fact I'm going to go, false? I feel like true on this one. Why not? True. Okay, true. ACU, please reveal your answer. It's true. true. All of it. <laughs> <laughs> and All right, and you were the last uh, person to see him alive. Yeah. <laughs> Dark show you guys got over here. <laughs> That's uh, 1.4 team gay frogs. Well done. Uh, okay. Okay, Team Gay Frogs, uh, Officer Kevin. Okay. Do you have an astounding tale? I do. Okay, when you're ready. <clears throat> Is it between your legs? I could say that. <laughs> One time, I had sex. What do you guys Whoa. think? You got, what do you guys, do you think that's happened? Or you think? No. <laughs> think that hasn't happened yet? <laughs> that's false. I would like to remind everyone that Kevin is in a wheelchair right now, so uh, let that... They can see that. Team Boner Pills, what do you think? It's an astounding tale. Please define sex. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Webster's Dictionary defines <laughs> sex as... <laughs> oh, my God. Go you, know you know the All rest. You know the rest? I don't... I made no comment. That's all I'm going to say. It's when you um, pee in a girl, isn't it? Or a a man. Or a man. Yeah, you can pee in it. And these days you can pee in anybody. And that's fine. A child. Oh, okay. Oh, God. (laughs) If that's where your mind goes first, well, that's... (laughs) Team team Bonefields, please very quickly (laughs) submit your answer so we can get out of this round. What do you reckon, ACU? Yo, nigger, I don't give a shit. This cracker probably line and shit. Damn. How's it about I say fiction, bitch? Okay. Locking in fiction? Lock it in, Edward. Fiction. All right. <clears throat> I don't know who that is. Mr. Miyagi. Like, no, pretty much no one will get that reference. No, I'll get it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Officer Kevin, was your story fact or false? It's true. I have fucked my lads. You fucked your lads? Come on, my lads. So, uh, okay, so you're having to go with me for suggesting children. 
my adult lads, comma, okay. I <laughs> have <laughs> fucked. He's right. just clarifying who he's fucked. Congre- it's his adult Congratulations, lads. Kevin. <laughs> Thank you. I've, I've forgotten the answer. What, were you guys right or what? No, I think I think we we were wrong. Is, you watched it. Oh, okay, it's very honest. Okay, you could have just said yes, and I would have put a point in there. But yeah, well, we were correct. No, I'm editing right this episode, All right. and we won. You'll have to edit the score. Congratulations. It. Yeah, I'll I'll edit all of it. All Don't right. you worry. Man, this game sure does. Well, time does fly when you're having fun. Am I right? No. Um, <laughs> it feels like we've been sitting here for five hours. <laughs> Okay, well, you'll be pleased to know that we've entered the final round. Final round. <clears throat> oh, uh, the scores are Team Boner Pills on ten points, and <laughs> and Team Gay Frogs on negative twenty points. But the next round uh, is chock full, full to the brim with points, overflowing with points. So there's plenty of chances you could say that all the other rounds are completely pointless because this round has an abundance of points it's a round that i like to call the lie tinning round so gentlemen mm, nice uh, this is everybody <laughs> thank you <laughs> i'm glad someone finally is appreciating that pun this is a game for all contestants to answer uh so we're gonna get some buzzers out true uh, thank you we're going to get some buzzers out so that you can buzz in with your answers for the lightning round. Okay. We'll need to test the buzzers, though. So, Team buzz. Boner Pills. I think buzz. Um, oh, man. Buzz. <laughs> oh. Buzz. <laughs> just please refrain from buzzing just for a second <laughs> so I can test. Buzz. The- <laughs> okay. Um, team Gay Frogs, can you please test your buzzers? Buzz. <laughs> no. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> Just, uh, it might be better if some if we all say something that's not buzz, so I can so I know who's actually right. buzzing. Three, in. two, one. Buzz. buzz. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right. <laughs> that that'll do. <laughs> okay, uh, gentlemen, this is a lightning round. So yeah. you've got to be on your toes. I'm going to say these questions as quickly as possible. Are you ready? Buzz. Yes. Buzz, yes. Buzz. 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 Oh, man. This is going to be a fucking nightmare. Here we go. Okay. Before we commence the round, we'll need to determine the topic for the questions. In order to do so, we'll need the help of our brand new... And very intelligent supercomputer. Uh, so can someone help me please wheel the supercomputer into the studio? Um, it's in a wheelchair. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Stephen Hawking's corpse, what are you doing here? Hello. Oh. <laughs> uh, wow. Uh, Professor Hawking, I, what an honor to have you here in the studio today on our I little show. I eat ass. Oh. <laughs> I eat ass. Okay. Is that how you got it? You uh, ended up like that or? <laughs> yes. You should, you should see Hawking. the other guy. <laughs> His ass was delicious. Okay. Uh, uh, Professor Hawking, uh, if, if I may, uh, we need your help for the lightning round. If you can, please generate a completely at random uh, topic for the lightning round questions. Generating the questions now. Okay. Thank you, Professor Hawking. Please, you can wait in this cupboard here. Okay. Closing the door now. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> and I just pressed the button. Oh. <laughs> okay. Wow. Well, I can't believe Professor Stephen Hawking's corpse arrived here to our show. That, that was incredible. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you know, it took them like a week to realize he was dead. Is that, is that fact or false? Yeah. <laughs> 
That was, that was a joke. Uh, I'm gonna lock um. in, uh, true. <laughs> okay. All right, I've got a card here which uh, has the subject for today's questions on it. And the subject for today's questions on it is... Uh, pot lice. Wow. Lice? Sorry, it's like, uh, it's it says police, but it's... The L I is L I E. Oh, so it's pol- police. So it's a, I didn't make it. The computer made it. So no, I mean, it's, it's clever, know. funny. It's, yeah, it's good. <clears throat> it seems like all these questions will be police themed in honor of our guests, Sam Glaze and ACU. I better get out of here because I'm an African American. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, just Buzz. I'm missing a teammate. No, no, no. No, I'm, no he's I'm still just, here. <laughs> can I just? I need to just apply my white face. Okay. Just give me a moment. That's fine, right? All Thought right. cops. Yeah, yeah, it's socially acceptable. I'm fine with it. <laughs> Kevin, are you fine with it? Yes. Oh, good. I'll Thank sign you. off. It's you know what? I'm gonna give you the pass. The W word pass. White. He's Tolerento Tortellini. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Man, this show has been going on uh for not nearly long enough. Here we go. I love our guests and other hosts. <laughs> All right. So much. Everybody Okay, everybody, shut up. Here we go. Okay. Sorry, mum. Question 1. <laughs> Hands on buzzers. Buzz. Listen closely and listen well. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Ready? Question one. It is unknown when the first modern professional police force was established. B- buzzy. Buzz. 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 ACU. ACU, I heard yours first. No, that was mine. A- Ace. Uh. <laughs> 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 I see you, please. I heard you. Okay, <laughs> so what are my choices? Fact or false? <laughs> <laughs> Fact. Fact is correct. <laughs> Question two. The first modern professional police force was established in London on September 29th, 1829. Fact. Buzz. You got a buzz for <laughs> Glaze. That wasn't my buzz. buzz. My buzz is me saying fact. I'm sorry, so, I heard Grant say buzz first, so Grant? Oh, okay. Uh, false. Correct. Question three. The word police derives from the Latin words poo, which means poo, and lease, which buzz. also means something. Buzz. <laughs> that's true. Team boner pills. That's true. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. That's false. Uh, What? Police is just a made-up word that doesn't mean anything. Question four. The best part about being a police officer is the guns. True. (laughs) Sam Glaze, I'm going to have to ask you to please wait until the question is complete before buzzing in. I already knew the answer. Okay, your answer? It was true. Correct. Question five. Uh, I'll just I'll just quickly note team th- team uh, gay frogs thought cops. Yeah, you have to really be on your toes because Sam Glaze likes to just buzz in straight away. Buzz. That's how he wins. So you got to really be quick off the buzzer. But I will ask, please, please wait until the question is finished before buzzing in. Here we go. Buzz. Question f- True. Question five. I'm gonna have to turn your buzzer <laughs> off if you keep this shit up. <laughs> question five. Until the 1990s. Men had to be at least five foot eight to become an officer of the UK Metro Neapolitan Police Force. Buzz. Buzz. Sam Glaze. False. No, I'm sorry, that's true. Uh, Team Gay Frogs, chance to steal. Uh, yeah. (laughs) That's what I was going to say. True. That's correct. This is what's going to happen, Sam Glaze, if you keep this shit up. Okay, well, I'll just keep it up. (laughs) (laughs) I'll ruin ruin your game. Crashing this game with no survivors. (laughs) Okay. Uh, Question six. Until recently, officers of the Honolulu Police Department were legally able to have sex with prostitutes while being undercover. Buzz. Buzz. I think that's pretty sweet. Buzz, true. Grant. Buzz, absolutely absolutely true. Yes, that is correct. Fuck yes. 
Scores are currently One of the Team Bone Appeals on four and Team Gay Frogs on six points. Woo! We're getting annihilated, Sam. What are you doing? Pick okay, up the slack. There's a million dumb more bitch. questions. Here. Come on. <laughs> My buzzer <laughs> isn't working properly. You're supposed to be the buzzer expert. Hold on. Okay. Can, can we to... deduct points from our team <laughs> no. for that bullshit answer? <laughs> Buzz ACU is false. I'm not false. Buzz <laughs> false. <laughs> Prove it. Okay. Hold on. Uh, question seven. In 2018, over 300 million people were shot by police in the USA. Buzz. Sam Glaze. True. No, I'm sorry, that's false. You say 300 of- million? Yes. You can't change your answer. That's disappointing. I'm just saying the I'm really disappointed that. number is closer to 300 billion. Oh. Question eight. In some states, it is illegal to be a woman. Buzz. Mm. Sam Glaze again. True. Correct. Okay, Thought Cops, listen closely and listen well. All right. Yes, sir. Listening. Question nine. In 1916, Georgia Ann Robertson became the first African-American policewoman. She lasted only one day and was arrested after it was discovered that she was both black and a woman. Buzz. I I heard uh, Officer Kevin. That was me? Yep. Uh, that's bullshit. I heard, I heard Officer Kevin. Your answer was this in post. I think I think it, <laughs> I agree. It was bullshit. I think it's false. I'm sorry, Kevin. You squandered. You squandered that. It's a fact. Oh, you goofed. You Damn done it. goofed. Damn it. Hold on. Sorry, everybody. So do we get a chance to steal? Or no. Yeah, we should. That was, a, that was so. a one-time thing. Steal I am an African American, after all. I should get a chance to steal. Oh, he, oh, he, he deserves a chance to pipe in on this question. Where are my question reparations? <laughs> he deserves an extra point. Yeah, uh, for hold free. On. Uh, I'm glad the plane is going over so I can just cut through this. <laughs> <clears throat> Team Bone Appeals, chance to steal. Okay. Thanks for that. Your answer? I'm gonna pass on this. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. I'm not going to steal in front of two cops. <laughs> Question 10. Being a narc is hella cool. A uh, buzz. Uh, Officer Grant. Absolutely true. No, it's false. You fucking I'm a ca- narc. I'm a, I'm a cop. <laughs> It's disgusting behavior. I'm, I'm question, a cop, though. Question 11. When police you take, say... You're not taking my perspective into account. All right, fine. All right. I'll give you a point. I'll give you yes. half a point. I'll, I'll take half, half a point. point. Can I have half a point, too? Yes. Thank you. <laughs> well, I, I might as well just give people nobody points if that's happening. Are you keeping track of these points? Yeah. Buzz. False. The, the, the score is five for bone pills, six for gay frogs. All right. Okay. All right. You happy? No. <laughs> All right. Question 11. When police say, move along, nothing to see here. That's actually a secret police trick to try and prevent you from looking at something incredibly interesting. Buzz. <laughs> Sam, Sam Glaze. I believe that's true. Correct. Okay, the scores are tied. Everybody be on your toes. It's anybody's game. Question 12. We're all in wheelchairs. <laughs> Everybody stand up. <laughs> Question I'm not 12. In a wheelchair. <laughs> Question 12. Nearly 90% of London's police officers don't carry firearms. Instead, they carry emergency rape whistles and decoy wallets in the event of a crime taking place. <laughs> Buzz. Sam Glaze. True. Correct. Okay. Bone Appeals have taken the lead. Good cops, you gotta, you got to up your game here. Yeah. Do we Question- have to let them win because they're guests? No, no, this is real stakes here. We're going to win because we're the cops and we'll just make it happen. (laughs) 
Question 13. Only around one third of a police officer's time is spent actually enforcing criminal law. Most of the work of a police officer involves peacekeeping, order maintenance, and beating up minorities. Buzz. Buzz. Oh, I, I heard Grant first there. True. Correct. Question 14. Over 21,000 law enforcement officers have died in the line of duty since America's founding. Over 90% of them died of shame. <laughs> Buzz. Kevin. True. Correct. I mean, look, I'm just going to say here, I don't like just because the question says true. That doesn't mean it's really true. It's just what the computer says. Uh, I really feel like this computer, uh, the the deceased uh, Professor Hawking has a, quite the chip on his shoulder when it comes to law enforcement. So just a disclaimer there. OK, <clears throat> he had a question. fondness for black people. <laughs> Qu That's question why it was in the chair. Question 15. <laughs> the song Dream Police by Cheap Trick is actually based on a real-life squad of psychic dreamwalking detectives who would use their incredible abilities to watch people have sex in their dreams. Buzz. <laughs> Sam Glaze. That's true. I was on that force. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's actually false. I, uh, I really I wish guess... it was true, because I would also join, <laughs> but it's false. Okay, well, I guess, um, I guess I'm not real. That must have been Goodbye, a dream. everybody. <laughs> Goodbye. See you. Hey, see you. It's all on you now. Sam <laughs> <laughs> guys just faded out of existence. <laughs> okay, here we go. Hands on buzzers. Question 16. Complete this line from I Fought the Law by The Clash. I fought the law and the law... Buzz. <laughs> Grant. Uh, it's it's actually, I felt the line, I won. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Uh, uh, Team Boner Pills, chance to steal. Buzz. I fought the law and the law fought minorities. <laughs> uh, no, I'm sorry, that's also incorrect. Buzz. The line is... Buzz. <laughs> Officer Grant. Okay, I let's fought, keep it going. I fought the law <laughs> and uh, the law fought me. I love the law and the law loves me. Uh, I mean, I like that one better, but it's not the correct answer. <laughs> Team Bonneville has a chance to steal. <laughs> I fought the law and lost, but because they caused me grievous bodily harm, I sued him for $20 million and won. <laughs> Buzz. <laughs> Officer Kevin. One. One, no. just for the sake of moving on. No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Oh! The correct answer is, I fought the law, and the law war. Okay, question 17. <laughs> Cats the game. band named The Police is actually named after their lead singer, the famous English musician Gordon Sumner, better known by his stage name, The Police. Buzz. Officer Grant. Was, was that a question, or...? <laughs> No, just an interesting fact I thought I'd throw out there. <laughs> uh, in that case, uh, Buzz, uh, true. That's correct. Okay, it's one question left, and there's no chance for Team Bonapils to catch up. Here we go. All right, I'm ready. Question 18. Final question. Everybody, hands on buzzers. Buzz, I lost my buzzer. <laughs> <laughs> just, just say buzz, that's fine. Buzz, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Question 18. Some people say the police... <laughs> Anybody? <Buzz. laughs> Sam Glaze. Back from the dead. I'm sorry, that's incorrect. <laughs> Team Gay Frog's chance to steal. Go for it. Um, <coughs> could you repeat the question? <laughs> or the statement? Uh, I'm afraid I cannot. I'd go false. Yeah, let's let's just do that. I'm sorry. The answer is fact. 
That ends round three, <laughs> the final round. And now is the time to reveal the winners of Sweet Little Tell Me Lies. Yeah. Uh, but first, let's tally up the scores, shall we? Uh, Professor Stephen Hawking's um, Ashes, please tally up the scores. He's on dial up. Um, is that it? Yeah, yeah. I know, I just... I know he's going to start saying beep as soon as I start talking. That's it, I promise. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> and the results are in. Team Bona Pills on seven points. And Team Gay Frogs on nine points, making them our champions for Sweet Little Tell Me Lies. Congratulations, oh, yeah. Kevin. 79. And Classic number. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That was good. Let's. That was a good game. It was great. Boy, wasn't that a good game, everybody? Do we all have to line yeah. up and shake hands now? Please. Hold on, I got I gotta go piss on my hands real first. Uh, real it, quick asterisk first. shake Sam Glaze's <laughs> hand. Right, Ron Pillman. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Well, that concludes that portion of this incredibly long episode of filler content. Let's close out the show because um, it's really. Do we have to do voicemails and stuff? That's what I was getting to. Oh, okay. Let's close out the show <laughs> with voicemails from our. Devoted listeners. What happened to Ace you? Is he sa- did he say what's happening with him or he just left? Oh, he didn't even type anything. <laughs> the fuck? The fuck? And, and I can't <laughs> I can't mention him in a in a comment because he's set himself to busy. <laughs> oh, here he is. Oh he's typing now. He's typing. He can hear us from beyond the grave. My tablet. His tablet. <sighs> just died. Oh, fucking hell. <laughs> So we might have to do like the last five minutes without him. And started <laughs> updating Windows. <laughs> Jesus. I'm assuming nothing saved. Oh no. <laughs> well, this has been a good chat, guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's um let's close out the show with some voicemails from our devoted listeners. Talk. You know Let's, what's you know what makes a good podcast? What's that? Everyone just laughing. <laughs> yeah, definitely. That's what that's yeah. what people want to hear. Just Yes, thanks. <laughs> I have to lean back so far. <laughs> that's that's a great great joke, guys. That was really funny. <laughs> 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 what the fuck was that? Yeah, okay. That wasn't a voicemail. All right. Thank you, Had, from Witticism Podcast for sending how come, that, that How in. come you guys weren't laughing that much on this episode? Uh, <laughs> I have to go now. <laughs> Let's play a real voicemail. Hello, Sam Glaze. Hi. Hello, ACU. He's not here. Hello, <laughs> Vakembra. Hello. Hello, hard men working hard. Hello. Hi. Uh, very nice, guys. Very nice. Uh, terminal brainless syndrome here. Uh, my my <laughs> rage question is if you could have a superpower, uh, what <laughs> would it be? And how would you use your superpower to uh, stomp out Islam? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Hmm. Um uh same glaze. My superpower would be to um eh, 
Probably invisibility. Okay. Do you want to answer the second part of that question? Or <laughs> um, you good? Well, if I ejaculate while invisible, <laughs> is the ejaculate <laughs> visible or does it remain invisible? I assume that it would be invisible because, well, I don't know. Is it just like the outer layer of your body that's invisible and everything else is visible? I don't know. Teddy bears, I mean, uh, terminal brainlet syndrome. Please get back to us on that one. Okay. Uh, Kevin and Grant, do you have any superpowers yeah. that you'd like to? Yeah. Yeah, I got one. Okay. I think um, I think my superpower. <coughs> sorry. Excuse me. Uh, my superpower that, <coughs> that I think that uh, my superpower that I would want to have is a strong state of Israel. Okay, folks, that uh, can take over the entire okay Middle East, and uh, Iran needs to be taken care of. It needs to be denuclearized. Okay, folks, uh, that's just the way things are. And uh, you know, if they're gonna attack us, we're gonna attack them. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be big. Okay, folks. Uh, so it, we we have Israel in the Middle East. It's the most westernized country out there. There are allies. There are friends. Uh, we we. We put our troops into Israel. We destroy the Middle East. Ah, uh, that's my super. <laughs> my, that's my super power. <laughs> wow, that was an incredible Bernie Sanders impersonation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Kevin, do you have anything, or do you just want to pass on that one? My superpower would be the power of fire. <laughs> 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 And we'll see how I feel about that second part. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, my superpower. Said with uh, much gusto. <laughs> <laughs> my superpower, terminal brainlet syndrome, would be the ability to dream walk so I could watch uh, Muslims have sex in their <laughs> dreams. I really figured out how I would turn that into an ability to wipe out Islam. I don't know, but... I'll figure it out along the way. Anyway. Wait, wait. Can I change mine? Yeah, go on. My Mine is now time travel. So I could go back in time and shoot Terminal <laughs> Brainlet Syndrome's mother in the head before she gives birth to him. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Just, I want to leave it there just for a bit. I want to save that. Yeah. Okay. That's after becoming his father. <laughs> no. Let's what? move on. No. <laughs> Please. What? All right. Thank you, Terminal Brainlet Syndrome. Our next voicemail is from Scrody Boy. Hey, hard man working hard. It's Scrody Boy here. And just wanted to leave you a quick voicemail. What? I'll ask you a real simple, <laughs> easy question, <laughs> if I may. Okay. That question is, is this if Bob you could sell it, which one would you be? <laughs> okay, thanks for your time. You're my favourite podcast, by the way. Very Thank good you. job. Keep up the good work. Looking good, La Cambra. Hey, thanks. ASU. <laughs> oh, Sam Glaze. Yeah, you're all right. All right. See you later. Cheers. <laughs> A single thing that he said. <laughs> <laughs> Scrody boy. <Wow>. Uh, <clears throat> Thank you, Scrody boy, for that excellent question. What do you ask? Uh, our next voicemail. <laughs> <laughs> no, he uh, what he what he asked <clears throat> was uh, if you could be any kind of salad, what kind of salad would you be? Really? And how, and how would you take down Islam? <laughs> and how would you use your crisp, delicious flavor to take down Islam? All right. Well, that's easy. I would be a Caesar salad with bacon. Mm, very good. That's the obvious yeah. answer, but that's okay. Classic. Tried, tried and true. Yeah. <laughs> Officer Kevin or Grant, any particular salad that you dream of becoming? Caesar? He just said Caesar. You can't also be a Caesar salad. Uh, I mean, I'm no, just we can all be a Caesar. Caesar salad. We can all be a Caesar salad. Let me no. I got. Let me take a thing. Mm. I. What other salads are there? You guys don't get out much, do you? All right. Well, Graham, Fucking... what do you? What's your salad? Before he's googling salads, by the way. <laughs> 
Grant, what kind of salad would you be? Okay, so there's a. Uh, I had to look this up because I couldn't remember it, but there's a. Uh, there's a gummy bear and mayo salad that was on the mm. TV show How I Met Your Mother. Dude. <laughs> it's. Uh, hold on. I'm That's reading, what you'd be. Or? I'm reading a BuzzFeed article. I'm, look, I'm looking. <laughs> He's scrolling past many okay, gifts. Okay, the ingredients are. There's so many gifts. Uh, the ingredients are. Guacamole, bacon bits, shredded carrots, purple cabbage, funyuns, gummy bears, potato chips, and 16 cups of mayo. That's fucking stupid. That's what I would be. <laughs> Is that so- uh, I, I, Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Scrody Boy, for that amazing question. Uh, our final voicemail, <clears throat> uh, apparently it says, also comes from Scrody Boy. All right, let's be quiet so, this time so we can hear what the fuck he says. <laughs> hey, guys, it's me, Scrody Boy. <laughs> I just wanted to say I like doing vapes and sucking huge dicks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bye. <laughs> <laughs> Glad he came back. Thank you, Scrody Boy. Very cool. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and we've also got uh, one, one email question from Umpty Madu, and he writes... You have to drink one of your bandmates' semen. Who do you choose? My own. Thank you, Umpty Madu. Excellent question. All right. <laughs> That's all we've got time for today <laughs> on filler content. But before we go, I'd like to give very special thanks to our special, very special guests, the Thought Cops. Thank you for having Thank us. Thank you for having us. That's quite all right. Wait. Wait? What? What? Well, Thought cops. Yep. <laughs> uh, okay, guy. Uh, guys, before you go, do you want to uh, do you want to quickly plug any of your stuff on the show? Not many people listen to it, but maybe yeah. anyone. <laughs> any gaping holes? Thoughtcopspodcast dot com. You can follow us on Twitter at Real Thought Cops. You can follow me at Ultra Kevin Nine Hundred. You can follow Grant at Grant Mooney. Yep. And you can follow me at Fake Thought Cops. <laughs> Damn it. For the record, there is a fat boomer who is sitting on the at Thought Cops handle on Twitter. And He's squatting on it. If anybody wants to take care of that, uh, I'm not going to ask any questions. Oh, man. While they're there, they can take care of, what's his name? Jim? On Jeff. HMW. Jeff on HMWH. Yeah, Go to at, hell, Jeff. At HMWH. He's just sitting on that. And the worst part is he does use that account, but he just he posts uses it. the most banal shit i've ever seen just try, I try to comments. i try to interact with him and he just likes my comments <laughs> he doesn't even respond dick <laughs> uh thank you thought cops for coming by i know it was a very long episode but we do appreciate your time oh, we had fun um, i had fun i can i can't speak for grant but i had fun how dare you well, insinuate grant, that i did not have fun. fun yeah grant did, <laughs> yeah. did you have fun grant yeah i did i you know <laughs> all right good <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, to our listeners, uh, please, we didn't really, uh, I didn't really talk about who Thought Cops were, what they, they were doing here. <laughs> the, the, the first half hour of the show was just an absolute train wreck. But please Small trust talk. me when I, love I tell it. you yeah. that there's a plane flying over, but I'm just going to talk through it. Look, just go, go and listen to Thought Cops uh, on, on your favorite podcast app. Look them up, Thought Cops. It's listen to really the uh, show. listen to the hard men working hard episode. You boys were on there. We had a lot of fun. Yeah, that's right. We were. Uh, hard men working hard episode ninety three. I think. I think that was your solo episode. Yeah. You guys were like oh, one yes. something. One sixteen. Yeah. Sure. Those whatever. Are the <laughs> whatever best that was. Yeah. Of Thought Cops. <laughs> listen to those only. Um, <clears throat> do you actually? Do you guys have any? Uh, particular episodes that that stand out for you that our listeners might want to check out mm. apart from our um, amazing episode that I would we say on. just like start with whatever the most recent episode is or go by like guests that you know I yeah. mean we had Chris Wilson who did the cyanide and happiness cartoons on 
Uh, we had Justin Wang on. We had you guys on. We had um, Dick Masterson. We had two of the guys from Mega Sixty Four on. Uh, just, yeah, you yeah. guys have been getting a lot of really uh, pretty good guests on that show. Yeah, tons of great trying, Chicago yeah. comedians too. So it's a nice mix. Yeah, go scroll through the episodes, find a name you like, and just uh, go with that one. Start with that. All right, Joseph Smith. That's a nice name. We're trying to get him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, <clears throat> Sam Glaze, ACU, ACU's not here. What the hell do you want? So we'll just, we'll just close the show out without him. Yeah. Um, Stuff that guy. Honestly, I'm glad he's not here. <laughs> Stuff you. All right. Yeah. <clears throat> get the heck out of here. Guys, if you're listening, please check us out uh, here on YouTube where you're probably watching this or go to YouTube and look at our channel Hard Men Working Hard we've got lots of music we've got a new song called Straight Pride because it's Pride Month is over and now thank you it's time we're back to the real back to the real pride <laughs> the best kind of pride <laughs> uh, before we go I'd also like to ask look if you really like this show please give us money on Patreon and New Project 2 and oh, before I go, I'd like to also give a shout out to our first responders. Uh, those people who comment first under our YouTube videos. <laughs> hard men working hard salutes you. The real heroes. All right. Everybody, uh, <clears throat> get the fuck out. Okay. See ya. Leaves the room.